Welcome. Today we're going to demonstrate using a CI CD tool like Jenkins Pipeline to drive CA Endeavor SCM and give developers for the mainframe a modern DevOps experience. I'm going to start off in my Agile tool by pulling a story off the Kanban board and marking it in progress to indicate that I've started work on this story to the rest of my team. Now you can see that the story uh, ID here is user story 216 and this is important because I'm going to go into my IDE and I'm going to mark my Endeavor change control uh, as user story 216 and that way whatever change I make Endeavor will know that that change is for user story 216 and we'll be able to automatically pull that into the um, change package that I make through the pipeline tool. So now I'm going to open up a file and uh, I'll make a small change. So we've got hello everybody. I think I'll change this to hello world. And we'll add a few exclamation marks for good measure. And I think I'll change the value of these variables. They need to be such big numbers. And uh, I'll go ahead and save this in my um, IDE. Now you'll notice that the IDE has now flagged, and this is by the way the Endeavor plugin for Eclipse, it's flagged that I have a local change. In order to get my change back into Endeavor, I have to do my add or update. So I'm going to do that right now. And the change is now checked back into Endeavor. Now over here I have my packages view, and you can see I've got a listing of a number of different development packages. Uh, and those are from previous stories that I worked on. In order to generate the package automatically through Jenkins, what I do is I mark my user story complete, and then I go and I initiate my build, uh, or my pipeline in Jenkins. So the job is running now, and if we click in, we can see all the steps that make up the pipeline. The first one is to query the Agile tool to get a list of all the completed user stories. We're going to use this information to create a package that will build and stage the changes for the application analysis tool, in this case Sonar Cube. Now behind the scenes we have a tool called CA Application Lifecycle Conductor that mediates between Jenkins and Endeavor. Essentially it provides services that Jenkins can call to do various operations in Endeavor. So for instance over here this is the service that was called to determine which packages need to be generated. Over in Sonar Cube uh, we'll quickly have a look. You can see that the code that is showing uh, on the dashboard right now was from my previous run. So when this first step completes, I'm going to expect that code to be updated. And here we can see that the first step is completed and it's moved on to casting the package. If we review and scroll down, we can see that the output from the mainframe has come back to Jenkins so that the developers can review it right where they feel most comfortable. No need to log on to the 3270 emulation to find the information that they need to do their job. Now if we go back to our IDE and refresh the packages view, we should expect to see that there's a new package that was generated. And there it is. So that was generated and it's in the process of being cast, which is why it's an approved status. So let's have a look at the rest of our pipeline. So we can see apart from the build, we have two other steps. We have a code scan step and a deploy step. The code scan step is where we invoke Sonar Cube, and the deploy step essentially creates another package that deploys out to test. The code scan step is completed now, and we can see the output from the scan utility is there in Jenkins for us to review. If we look at the dashboard and we go check the file that we changed, we can see indeed the changes got off the mainframe and are now in the Sonar Cube dashboard. Okay, so the pipeline is completed now and we can click into any of the steps we want or even sub steps and see what output we got back from the mainframe. You can see all of the details are sent back into Jenkins for the developers to review. And if we scroll up, you can click on the configuration icon and you can see this is all really driven by the Jenkins plugin for ALC being called in a pipeline script and uh, passing parameters to call the services that we mentioned earlier. So that's all we wanted to show for today. If you'd like more information, you can contact me personally. My name's Vaughn Marshall. I'm a product manager at CA Technologies, and my email is vaughn.marshall at ca.com. Thanks.